Hi everybody, it's Christina and thank you for joining me. So in the last video of Everyday Items, I used tin foil to create my card. Now this time I'm going to be using just cheap, ordinary kitchen roll. You can use tissues, you can use toilet roll, it's entirely up to you. But this is just some uh, kitchen roll and all I'm going to do with that is wet it. You will need an embossing folder, it doesn't have to be a 3D folder, but you will need an embossing folder to put the pattern into your, um, your kitchen roll. So the first thing we're going to do is spritz it all. And we're going to make sure that it's all quite wet, not absolutely soggy, but we want a good lot of water in it. And then we need to make sure that they're all lined up. We've got some dry patches there, we'll just get rid of those, we'll put some water in those. Now this is two ply kitchen towel. So this is what I mean by two ply. It's two pieces fastened together. So I've got three sheets of or three of these pieces of the kitchen roll which are two pieces thick and I've laid them down and this is what I have spritzed. Now once I've done that I can open up my embossing folder and I'm going to lay these inside. So once we've done that we can close the folder up and all we're going to do with this now is just emboss it through the machine in the folder. So before I put mine through the machine I'm just going to trim off the excess. Now you will find when you put this through your machine that it will squeeze out some of the water that's in the, the kitchen towels. So you will need to clean up, be prepared for a little bit of mess. So once you've had this through your machine, you can open it up and there's the pattern in your paper. Now you can either leave it in the folder to dry or you can take it out and let it dry. But either way, you need to leave that alone now until it's completely dry. And once it is dry, you can trim it down and this is what you will have. So you can use either side to create your pattern. I prefer this side. And I've trimmed mine down to fit a 5x7 card, but I've also cut myself another piece that will sit behind it. And I'm going to glue that in place for my card. So now I have these two glued together, and now I'm going to put some glue on the back and add this to my card. So once I've got these two glued together, I've taken another piece of pink card and I've cut this down, it's about an inch and a half, and I'm just going to fold this around the panel and glue it on the back. So we'll make sure that that's level. And then once I've done that, I can add all this to my base card. So now I have my sentiment handy and I'm going to put happy birthday along there. I've got some green leaves that I'm going to add to the left hand side of the card and I have a flower that is created from felt. So to add a little more depth to these green flowers I've just put a strip of double sided um, foam in there and that's going to sit down there. This piece can come over the other side, that can come along there and that just gives it some shape. So now with some hot glue I'm going to put these in along the sides. And now just to add a little bit of sparkle to the felt petals I'm just going to 
add some glue just along the edges and we'll just sprinkle some glitter on the top. There we go. Now once the glue dries it will dry flat, it will dry clear and the only thing that will sparkle on there is the glitter. So making use of everyday items that you'll find in your kitchen will probably save you a little bit of money. This is just using cheap kitchen um, towel. This one was the one with the tin foil background. And there you have two really pretty cards that are ready to give to your recipient. So we'll use another everyday item in the next video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, then you'll always be aware when I add a new video. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.